We traveled into rural China, knowing that our visit to the parents of Jiang Tianyong could cause trouble for them and him. But they invited us to their home despite a police threat in order to expose what they say is a human injustice. My son is innocent. He just wanted to help people. He is an honest man. He didn't do anything wrong. Their son is one of China's most prominent human rights lawyers. Last November, he became the latest of more than 250 lawyers detained in a crackdown labeled China's war on law. Jiang Tenen Young is a 45-year-old lawyer. His case was raised in the American Senate this week as concerns grow about his welfare. I am so worried. We have been told they are torturing lawyers. Sometimes they are not even allowed to drink water. Arrests and confrontations between the police and human rights activists have intensified over the last 18 months. This lawyer has decided to risk his career and his safety to expose the torture suffered by a former colleague he now represents. They have choked him, slapped him, punched him. Uh, and make him sit up straight for 22 hours a day. Every day for the past six months, the police have taken turns to torture him. Do you worry that you might be next? They have one motive, to get rid of human rights lawyers, put them in jail or force them to shut up. 17-year-old Samuel now helps teach his sister and four-year-old Guang Wei the two younger children have had their education denied since their fathers were arrested in 2015. The, the leader of China, they, they think something is more important than human rights. Maybe they are benefit or things. Mothers Wen Zhu and Xiao Ling have been arrested several times for protesting against their husband's illegal detention. They described being beaten and subjected to a humiliating strip search. My son asked me, are they monsters? I said, yes, they are. He said, I will grow up quickly to beat the monsters and rescue daddy. I said, good boy. Children are growing up in China, learning that standing up for human rights makes you an enemy of the state. Debbie Edward, News at 10, Beijing.